In this video, we are going to see how to edit and update selected country details. Let's add action buttons on this table. Back to Countries controller and update this Get Countries list method. Add column in this way and rename to Actions. Let's return simple edit and delete texts for testing. After adding new columns, copy this column name. Back to JS and add new column on this data table option like this. Let's test. As you can see, we have now actions columns. Let's add real action buttons here instead of showing these texts. As you can see we have buttons but are displayed as text. How to solve this problem and display this as normal buttons. Just add this raw columns line here. Let's test. Now, we have both update and delete buttons on this table. Let's make functionality of this update button. Just add data ID and ID attributes to this button. Let's use this ID to our JS. Let's see if we can get ID of selected country. As you can see, we can get ID of selected country when we click on update button. Go to web.php and add new post route for getting selected country details. Let's use this route name.
Add get country details method inside countries controller class. In this method, we will return selected country details as JSON. Let's see if we can get selected country name. As you can see, we can get selected country name if we click on update button. Let's create new blade file for edit country modal. This will be our edit country modal. Let's include edit country modal on countries list blade file. As you can see, we have edit country modal on this page. Let's continue. Copy this modal class and use it on JS to show edit country modal. As you can see, we can show edit country modal when we click on update button. Let's add form on this modal. This form will contains hidden input field that will hold selected country ID, country name and capital city input fields. Let's test. Now, we have this form for editing selected country. Let's display selected country details in this form. As you can see, the selected country details displayed into this modal form. For better results, Reset edit country form and clear validation message before showing edit country modal.
Add new post route for updating selected country details. Use this route name to edit country name form action attribute. Don't forget CSRF to this form. Add error spans under each input field on this form. This text must be the same as this. And this same as this. In this before send function, Add this line. If there are validation errors, display them under each input field. Then if country details updated successfully, hide modal. Reset edit country form. And display success message. This will help us to update selected country details. Let's add update country details method inside countries controller class. We must validate form inputs first. Country name must be required and unique in countries table. Capital city must be required. If there are validation errors, return them. Let's test validation. As you can see, the validation on this form works perfectly. If you try to enter exists country name, this will show you that country is already taken. But if you enter the name of selected country ID, we don't have that validation message. Let's continue. Now, if there is no validation error, update the selected country details.
Let's test. Let's register new country but wrong capital city name. Let's update this country capital city. If we click on save changes button, we have this message that show us that the country detail have been updated. But we still see wrong capital city on table. But if we refresh a page. We see the updated capital city of this country. How to refresh this data table after country details updated. Just add the following line here for refreshing data table. Let's test. Let's register another country with wrong capital city name. Let's update it now. As you can see, the table has been refreshed after country details updated. Friends, this how you can update data with Ajax in Laravel 8. Thanks for watching this video.